Hello and welcome to another day of decimals. Um, we did a really good job yesterday and we did a great job getting our decimals learned, but we're gonna keep going because decimals are super, super important. This block behind me, you might recognize it. It is a 100s block in the base 10 system. I have those in our manipulative bucket. We're allowed to use those math tools to help us. These math tools can help us understand decimals also. So this is a block cut into 100 pieces. It's like a fraction, but I have not shaded in any pieces yet. So if I shade in, for instance, one square, I just shaded one little square. That means I would have one piece out of 100 because they're all equal sides. I cut this into 100. That is the fraction, one out of 100. But as a decimal, we need to do zero because we have zero holes. We need our decimal point and we need to go out to the 100s place. So for instance, this is the 10th place. We don't have a full 10 here. So that means we have zero tens. Now we need to write the 100s place. We have only one 100. So the decimal right here, that is zero and one hundredths. Okay, let's do it again, but a different one. Each bar down or across is worth 10. So a full bar you can use for the tenths place. Let's do this full bar. Okay, this would be equal to 10 out of 100. I have 10 pieces out of 100 total pieces. That is also equal to, it's an equivalent fraction to one over 10. I have one out of my 10 pieces shaded in. So for a decimal, that would look like zero It would like like zero and we have one ten. So that means we can put a one in this place. We don't have any extras, so we are good to go. Zero and one tenth. One tenth or ten one hundredths is an equivalent fraction. Let's do another one because these are gonna show up quite a bit. We have to be really good at seeing these hundred charts and being able to tell what fraction that we're representing. So let's shade in this whole 10, and let's shade in this whole 10. But I'm only gonna shade in five of the next row, okay? So remember, instead of counting one by one, we don't have to count one, two, three, four. That would take way too long. If we have a full row, or a full column, or a full row uh, counted out, that's 10, so we can skip count by 10s until we don't have a full row anymore. So we have 10, 20. Oh, we can't go to 30 because this one's not a full row. So this is where you can start counting once. We have 20, one, two, three, four, five. We still have 100 pieces here. So our fraction would be 25 out of 100, or 25 one hundred. Let's look at that in decimal form. We have zero holes. Do not forget your decimal point, that's super important. And we have two tens, so that goes in the tens place. And then we have five ones. Zero and 25 one hundredths as a decimal. Okay, let's do one more because these are so important. I wanna make sure that you've got it down and you understand it. This time we'll do a trickier number. We're gonna shade in one ten, two tens, three tens, four tens, and you know what? We're just gonna shade in three more, okay? So as a decimal, we have 43 pieces out of 100 filled in. So that would look like this, 43 out of 100, 43 one hundredths. As a decimal, it would look like this. We have zero as our whole. We don't have a whole one filled in yet. Don't forget your decimal point. That's super important. 
how many tens do we have here? How many full tens do we have here? Let's count together. One, two, three, four. We have four full tens, so we can put four in the tenths spot. And then we have one, two, three of the hundreds. So let's put three in the hundreds. That decimal is zero and 43 one hundredths. Very, very good job, everybody. Uh, we're gonna keep trucking along with our decimals and soon we're gonna get into percents. Percents are even easier if you know your decimals and your fractions. You guys are gonna do great. See ya.